Hello everyone. Dynamic routing like this in React.js. Here we got two languages. One is React.js, another one is JavaScript. If I click React.js, it navigates to the screen. URL is also changed. Here we got percentage 20 in between the React.js because we have space between the React.js. That's why we got percentage 20 here. And this is title and this is description. Okay. And if I go back and if I click JavaScript here, routing URL is changed to JavaScript and this is JavaScript details. Okay using this react router dom first copy this and install in your project in my case i already installed and also i am running this project here i want to use this files okay first is dynamic routes here we got this code and i want to use this page one here we have routing details and here i want to display the detail screen i mean this screen okay here i want to use this style okay yeah let's start here i want to type browser route this imported here here after that I'm going to close this inside browser route I'm going to use routes it is also a react router dom container here inside routes I'm going to use route okay yeah, this imported here after that here I'm going to close this route and I'm specify the path initially I'm going to display slash and element is First, I'm going to display the screen. So, I'm going to copy this page one and I'm going to paste that. And yeah, I'm going to import that component. It's imported here. After that, I'm going to change the detail screen dynamically. Here, you need to add colon and details. Okay, you can give any name here. After that, I'm going to display the screen, detail screen. Okay here I'm going to change this to this and it is also imported here and yeah I think routing is completed and after that here I'm going to use this data first I'm going to map this data here I'm going to use first I paste that data dot map here val I'm going to display div here I'm going to use val dot this title okay and yeah here i'm going to use this style cards okay copy that and here class and paste it and here i'm going to create on click handle click i'm going to pass the this well okay I mean this well and I'm going to copy this after that I'm going to create a function for that I'm going to get the this value here I'm going to console this value save this here I'm going to save this every file okay here yeah, initially we got two files I need to add this in one view. Yeah, got style like this. And first, I'm going to inspect. Go to console, and yeah, I'm going to close this. If I click React JS, we got React JS details, description, and title. If I click JavaScript, here we got JavaScript details. Okay. If I click this, I mean, if I click React JS, I'm navigating to detail screen, and we need to change the routing path also. Okay so inside the handle click yeah before that we need to use use navigate okay it is used to navigate to next screen okay use navigate and i'm going to create cons this is navigate and copy this and inside the on click i'm going to add a tilt symbol and slash and i'm going to copy this here inside the click we got a description and title here i'm going to pass the title okay here value dot title and save this here i'm going to refresh the screen if i click react js here routing path is changed and we need to pass data from one page to another page 
using this route okay here we got key value error so okay, I'm going to add a key and add that one more param here it's i I'm just pass i here and save this if I refresh the screen yeah here it is removed I'm going here and inside navigate I'm going to pass this state also you can pass data from inside this state okay here I'm going to pass this entire value and paste it here and save this and now if I click this I'm going to refresh the screen and if I click the screen it navigate to the screen and also data also pass to the screen I will show you and go to detail screen here I'm going to get the data from routing so here I'm going to use counts this is location or I can give anything here this is use location this also a react out of the build function it is used to get the data from one page to another page here I have to click the sorry control the value and paste the data I mean location here this is got data ok save this here here we got got data because we already click this routing ok here I am going to clear this and if I click react this it navigate to details component and here we got detail ok I mean state value because we pass this value inside the state right that's why we got value in this state inside the state and this is path I mean this path ok yeah I am going to display this title and description in the screen so here I am going to add a h1 tag here location copy and paste that and dot we have value inside the state so paste that state here dot first I am going to display this title so copy that and paste it here after that I am going to display I mean use this p tag and here we got value in this this I mean description then I am going to change this to this I mean this yeah here we got value and yeah go back and here I am going to refresh the screen and if I click react this navigate to the screen I mean details component here we got react detail and if I click javascript yeah url is changed and this is javascript detail I am going to add dynamic I mean if I add this two more time here I am going to add a comma here after that this is javascript 1 and this is 2 ok and save this here we got four more languages and if I click javascript 1 this title is changed if I click javascript 2 the title is changed ok and if I click react.js it navigate to react.js that is what I try to tell in this video I think this video will help you bye bye